This is a copy of a verified complaint submitted to the court this morning by my lawyers. I am suing, I'm going to read it to you in a second. I am suing Simon and Schuster for $10 million. So in the letter I received from Simon & Schuster, they uh, said that the manuscript was unfit for publication. So there's obviously a clause in the contract we signed that um, uh, gives them the right to cancel publication if the manuscript is unfit for publication. The problem is we have both emails and texts from Simon & Schuster dating up to like 36 hours before that expressing pleasure and happiness with the manuscript, looking forward to marketing it. They said I'd done good on the latest round of edits. We had a signed deal and we were on to the third draft of the book and we were looking forward to charging into publication. And then because of political pressure, because of pressure from their other authors, their other imprints, whatever, in the space of 24 hours, they suddenly decided that the book was unfit for publication. Well, that's unacceptable. They don't get to do that. They don't get to break the deal on what I believe is a false pretext because they caved to political pressure. So they have to pay. Did Simon and Schuster tell you that you know the tapes that surfaced, the guy you booted from CPAC around the same time, were the reason that they canceled the book deal? No, they didn't. But even if it had been, they're not entitled to do that because we had a deal. Uh, you know, I don't intend ever to apologize again in my career. I said something I didn't mean. Uh, something tumbled out of my mouth I didn't intend. And I made an effort to, to correct the record on that, which I think everybody in the country heard.